Hey folks, welcome to this video. At the beginning of this series of videos about Jenkins, we saw how to change the language of the application by changing the browser's language. But uh, from a comment in one of these videos, I get that uh, we can use also a locale plugin, which is a very simple way. I've just tried and I liked it, so I wanted to share with you. So let's do it. Uh, we can go to manage Jenkins so we can install a new plugin so manage plugin section then under available we need to search for locale okay let's see okay locale then I'm going to mark it download now and install it after restart so it should download the plugin download successfully will be activated during next reboot so i'm going to restart jenkins now okay i'm going to pause this video and wait for jenkins to come back okay jenkins is back so i'm going to log in and then we are going to use a new plugin. Okay, so now I have Jenkins in English, so I'm going to manage Jenkins again. Then configure system. Waiting to to the application to load. Okay, under configure system. Okay, here we need to search for local section, which is the section installed by the plugin. And here we see a, a parameter called default language. So the question is, what, what do we put here? For that, we need, uh, we can go to, to Google and search for language codes, which I did, and I found this page, which give me a lot of language codes that we can use in the plugin. I'm going to try Dutch, so I'm going to type this in here. I'm also marking this this field the ignore browser preference and force this language to all users. This is because as I show you in the first video, Jenkins will take the language from the browser. So by checking this this option, we will avoid this and use the the plugin. So I'm going to save it. And as you can see, my uh, user interface is now in German. So all the the texts from the application, all the the logs are in this language. So I'm going to try another one to see how simple is this. I'm going to to try Spanish this time. Okay, same locale. S for Spanish. I'm going to apply the changes. And now it's in Spanish. Okay, as you can see, it's very simple. And I would prefer this option uh, instead of the browser one because uh, as we're using a, a plugin, this is an inner feature inside Jenkins which can be better integrated with all the text and all the, the things that can be translated to the proper language that we are selecting. So I'm going to use this one. Okay, this is all for this video. I hope you enjoy it and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, as I mentioned, this video came from a, a comment in, in a video. So you can suggest more topics and we can, we can discuss about those. Stay tuned. Thanks.